Hey everyone, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude. Well, I've been hiking for about an hour now to get to this site with a mass of ammonite, Titanides. This absolute behemoth is around the size of a monster truck tire. Um, it's in Fernie, British Columbia. So basically the middle of nowhere. It's um, on the border of Alberta and BC in the Rocky Mountains. And the site is really hard to get to. There's not a lot of maps online or clear directions on how to get to this locale. But luckily, I took the right path and was able to find it. So I could actually fit in this impression. Here, let's, let's actually get a closer look at this bad boy. So this is the ammonite, like I said, a squid that lived in a spiral shell. Here's my leg in comparison of this impression. So as you can see, it's an absolute behemoth. Um, I also brought a little model to show what an ammonite is for those of you who are not familiar, but I have some other videos on my channel talking about ammonites. Let's see. Bingo. So this is what paleontologists believe ammonites would look like. You see they've got a very spiral shell, tentacles, an eye, a little jet, and they usually would be depicted with a hood that covers them when the ammonite goes into the shell. Now, let me just step back. It's hard to get the whole ammonite in the frame. There we go. So that there is the original bit of fossil, and then that is the impression. So bits of that have been washed away downstream, but we still have this section right here. And if you take a look, there we go. So that's what it would have looked like when it was alive. That is insane. There's my bag right next to it, my backpack. You can see the scale, like this ammonite here in my hand can fit snug in the center. There we go. So there's the ammonite that was in the palm of my hand. And then that's the size of Titanides. I can't recall what period it's from. I believe the Jurassic or Cretaceous, but I might be wrong. You can see the ridges around the outside of the shell spiraling into the center. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. And it was well worth the hike. So if you guys live near Fernie or um, the Rocky Mountains, so like in Alberta or BC, this is definitely a legendary hike. If you guys are up for the challenge, um, it only takes about an hour. It's easy to get lost, but I can include a map in the link in my bio um, to a site that has one, and it really helped me out to get to the site, which is great. So basically, you start off at this little shooting range, and you walk along a trail up to a logging road, and you pass over uh, flowing water. Yeah, I'm good. Yes, I'm making a video. Anyways, so you cross over a creek, and then the second creek you get to, you hike up it, pass the rope, and don't stop. Just keep hiking up and up and up, and pretty soon you'll get to a clearing that shows this. And the road wasn't too bad getting in. It was just like a simple logging and hunting road. Um, and you just pass over a bridge that goes over the creek. So you're always on this side of the creek. So yeah, again, I'll just post a, um, a link to a website that shows you how to get here if any of you guys are interested. But yeah, an absolute behemoth of an ammonite. So beautiful. So yeah, that'll conclude my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, leave a comment in the description if you live in Alberta or British Columbia, and I'd love to hear your take on fossil hunting. And if you've been to the site, I'd love to hear your hiking stories and whatnot. So make sure to leave a comment in the comments down below. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.